So this is a finished device. You're gonna to have to forgive me for not demonstrating it in an actual Saab 9.3, um, but unfortunately I can't do that because I don't have a Saab 9.3 at the moment. Well, I do, but it's the 2010 model, um, which doesn't need uh, an ICM unit. I am in the process of acquiring another Saab 9.3 and I will be able to de demonstrate it working in a Saab 9.3, but this, is going to work, so I will I will show you um, what it, what the point of this is. The idea behind this is that you can just install this like you would any other radio in your Saab. You can take out your ICM one, ICM two, ICM three, and you can plug this in. And there's only there's only a couple of things that you need to do which to make it work. Okay, so it is a standard ICM three unit. And um, if you have a look at the, uh, the uh, additional two wires, that's the extra work that you need to do, okay? So you have a power lead, um, which needs to go to your cigarette lighter, um, the back of your cigarette lighter, the live and neutral, uh, the live and the ground. Um, the other wire is, is, uh, isn't mandatory because there's a you have a couple of options. Um, it's a 3.5 mil jack, so you either run it to the auxiliary input which is found in your armrest or if you don't want to have to run that cable um, then you can buy a, um, a Bluetooth adapter, a Bluetooth adapter that you can put into your armrest and um, that will mean that you can, auto you can wirelessly connect it to this and um, that, that will be great. So, what does it do? Uh, well, let me show you. Um, so at the moment I'm playing Spotify. Um, you don't have to play Spotify. I mean, I've just, it's just one of the apps I've installed on it. But um, if we go back home, this is the launcher. So this is what you want to see when it turns on um, and how you navigate things, okay? Um, the most used apps are straight away on here. So music, open Spotify, which I was just using there. Um, or if you want to navigate, because obviously it's a car app thing, um, you, can, uh, you can use this. Um, and you can use voice as well if you want. So if I click on here, Peterborough. There you go. So it, uh, it can listen to you. Now, that will only work if you're, if you're uh, in a quiet car and you're not driving and there's no noise um, because it, it needs quiet because it's sort of built into this unit. But my point is, is it, it's a function that's there. The radio function of the ICM3 is still gonna function fine um, because it, all of this is still an ICM3. It's still gonna function exactly as it was meant to. Um, the radio will play th through the display of the SID and show you what radio station you're listening to. The volume control is going to work. The steering controls will continue to work because it is a full unit. But the point is, um, this unit is going to give you lots more options in your car. You'll be able to listen to what you want. You'll be able to watch what you want when you're not driving. It's a modern version of it. Um, it's not going to be cheap because it's uh, expensive to make. Uh, it's expensive to source parts and it's an absolute nightmare to build, uh, mainly for the programming that is required. Um, but I will, um, I will create another video to show you, um, you know, what, what is involved in that. But for the time being, this is what I've been working on and um, yeah, I hope you, I hope you like it.